depending on the complexity of your model, when you generate your energy model with the mode set to conceptual masses and building elements, you might get very jagged analytical surfaces and spaces. You might also notice that some of these analytical spaces will cross floors. To generate analytical spaces, Revit fills up these spaces until it finds room bounding elements. If there are gaps within the model, Revit will continue filling it until it finds the next room bounding element. Therefore, if your model has gaps, you might see these spaces spilling over to spaces that shouldn't be connected. To avoid these issues, we can set the mode to use rooms or spaces and set the room space data parameter to rooms for architecture purposes or to spaces for systems analysis. If you regenerate the energy model with the new setting set to rooms, you will notice that the analytical spaces and surfaces are limited to the room boundaries. Using this method, you can also control the rooms or spaces that you want to be analyzed. For example, if there's an area in your model that you want to exclude from the energy analysis, you can select the room, remove it and regenerate the model. You will notice Revit did not generate an analytical space for that area. You can also add mechanical spaces for additional data input and change your room export data to spaces. In this example, I've added four spaces to demonstrate that if you're using this method, Revit will only take into account the spaces placed within the model. Don't forget that you can also use the space naming tool to pass on the names of the rooms to the spaces you have inserted into the model. When regenerating the model, the room names will be applied to the spaces.